Hello everyone, Dylan Tier, I'm here, and I'd like to go through uh, my fights with SpongeBob Steel Pants, my heavyweight for Human BBQ3. Why did Nikki choose that name? But either way, here it's a heavyweight that has punching arms as its weapons and has two configurations. One is it's a uh, simply just fork switcher standard configuration. The other one you can see here is the uh, wedge configuration for use against horizontal spinners. Now, I didn't do too great. I only went one and two, but hey, at least you got a win. And it's better than nothing. Anyways, first fight here against Murder Hornet. The fight starts and immediately SpongeBob's Steel Pants falls straight onto its face, but self rides okay. That's, though, that's a bit of foreshadowing for what happens. I'll just say, but then SpongeBob's Steel Pants proves that it's not a bad machine at all, and it just got to look at that first time because it starts slamming Murder Hornet around, but rides up on him, which is not a good thing. And then just continues to slowly pound away on Murder Hornet over and over again. Just struggling to do much, though. And something was flying off somewhere. I think a piece of Murder Hornet, I'm not sure. And then I take something else off him. And slowly, I'm pound Spongebob the Steel Pants slowly. He's just pounding a few bits and bobs off of Murder Hornet. I mean, just to get him pinned here, but I lose the side of the wedge. It's not a good thing, but hey, it's still still a fair game. As long as I don't get hit on that side too much, he won't do too much to me. But I'm still just stuck on top of him. <laughs> this is annoying. Dear Lord, I need to figure out something to fix that. Probably I can't do much to fix it, though, considering how low he is. But as you can see here, I'm slowly just pounding away on him over and over. And, ah, oh, damn it. And I'm flipped over. And that's the end of the fight. There goes my wheel. And Murder Hornet is free now to just tear me apart as he pleases. And there goes another fist. And last but not least, of course, there goes my last wheel about now. And it's over. I lose. Bad start for SpongeBob Steel Pants. Next up is against Blowback, a hammer bot. This time I'm going with the forks as per usual. And immediately SpongeBob Steel Pants just goes head on and takes a few hammer blows from Blowback. It's slow but and gradual and all, but yeah, it's, this fight's pretty boring, except for the fact that I won it. Sorry to spoil it, but which, for the record, you should just go watch the rest of Human BBQ as well as this. So all these fights on Nikki's channel, link in description, of course. But anyways, when I see pants, just immediately goes head on with him and starts slamming him around. I lose the top fist, but that's not a big concern. Slowly, I just push and push and push. And eventually, and eventually, I get him pinned for for the point where he just let they have to let go. But that just, but someone else see your pants proves that why it's not a bad machine at all. It manages to consistently get underneath blowback and push him around. And even going head on, blowback's not able to do much. Sure, they're getting some nice hits in with its hammer, but someone else see your pants just doesn't care much. He's it just keeps getting around to the sides and pushing. And while it's not able to get under it too often. It's still able to just push it wherever it pleases. Another hammer blow there, but now back on, back up front where I want to be, so I can pound away at him more and more. And there goes a little piece of blowback. And you can see the top panel is starting to bend in pretty bad. <laughs> so blowback, as it turns out, its hammer is actually pretty decently powerful. SpongeBob Steel Pants' armor, I believe, is aluminum ten, so not too strong, but pretty reasonable, especially for a heavyweight. I feel. I mean, then again, I think heavyweights would probably be better off with titanium 10, but I don't got the weight for it. And now my p the piston for the top arm is starting to smoke as blowback starts to get uh, some shots in on it. And now blowback loses another piece, this, this time from its side. And yeah, this is just slowly... And now I get another pin on him. Nice. And now there's a minute to go in the round, and SpongeBob Steel Pants is very clearly on top of this so far. Sure, they've taken a lot of I've taken a lot of damage, but I'm still going. Blowback needs to do something, but <laughs> of course he ain't getting much of a chance. But I'm almost dead. My chassis's almost been beaten to complete and total pulp at this point, which is not a good thing. But I get around to the side again and tear a wedge slip off of somewhere. Not sure where. But either way, I just keep getting underneath him and just pounding away and pounding away. Slowly but surely, getting the hits in that I need to score some points with the judges, because this is going to go to a judge's decision by this point. And, and for whatever reason, the AI decides to drive it on the flame pit, and then I just go head on with him, which is not what I wanted to do. 
considering how dented I was, but at this point, there's only about 10 seconds left in the match, and Blowback just can't really hit the chassis much anymore. It's just hitting the top, the front plate of armor at this point, mostly. And the match goes to the judges, which SpongeBob Steel Pants wins by a split decision. Last but not least is, uh, Hoopo? I don't know how you pronounce it. And immediately, I realize this fight's pretty much over, <laughs> because SpongeBob Steel Pants immediately goes riding up on the wedge, and he just chucks me wherever he pleases. I get around, so Pants manages to get around to the side, but is unable to get under those sides, oddly enough. And I'll explain some things about Spongebob Steel Pants by the end of this. Yeah. This fight's pretty much just three minutes of Spongebob Steel Pants struggling to get under a ho-poo and ho-po? I, ho-po? I, just start, I'll just call it HP. <laughs> it's just struggling to get under HP. And as you can see here, I go head on with him, and then all of a sudden, I just ride up on him. Because he's using a hinged wedge while my forks are just static. Because I, because I figured out that static forks tend to cause a wayless bounce when they're going head on with another wedge than hinged forks do. But that comes at the cost of struggling to get ground clearance, and I'm also struggling to soft right. The earlier versions of this used, used motors instead of VMDA pistons. And those VMDA pistons are, aren't are as powerful to self right in terms of just, you know, pure self writing power. The, the, mo the burst motors were just much better overall. And I almost get a pin in on him, but he just turns just enough to slip out and toss me into the wall. And yeah, you can pretty much guess who's going to win this at this point. Yeah. So then, while this fight is going on, I may as well talk about how I came up with this idea. So, I'm pretty sure you, if you don't, for those of you who don't know, Spongebob Pants is, spoiler alert, the final boss of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. He's the final boss, and and how what happens is he attacks you with karate gloves, with metallic karate gloves. He does, he does, uh, he does, he does vertical slashes with his gloves, as well as horizontal ones. So that's where the whole idea of the vertical and horizontal boxing fists came in. They're similar to, the colors are the exact same, and they're similar in concept, pretty much. They're, they're just, they slam into you by coming in from the sides or from the top. That's basically the concept I created, and plus, since I'm a huge BFPB fan, I figured, you know what, why don't I try building a bot like that for a Bottle Wars? Because 2.0, whenever it inevitably happens, oof. Still hasn't, still haven't gotten news on 1.5, by the way, but either way... Whenever 2.0 inevitably happens, there's a cruiserweight division that I wanted to enter with something. So I figured, I'll make a cruiserweight and use Spongebob Steel Pants as the base for it. And so that's where it came from. Now, of course, it being cruiserweight, it also was built in the Crash Fast, because, well, I already know that was what, it, what Robotic Wars was going to be in. But, yeah. You'll see a few problems with this thing at the end. At the end, I'll talk a bit more about the problems I'm having. And at the final 10 seconds, we're just going around and around and around, and yeah, you can already tell that I've pretty much been dominated this whole fight. So overall, SpongeBob Steel Pants went one and two. Not bad, but certainly could do better. Now, first of all, this bot was not built in the crash patch because I wasn't aware if human BBQ occurred in the crash patch or not. I know for a fact it now does, so I've done some rebuilding. The biggest problem I had was it wasn't really able to self write so I've added a self writer The forks are now hinged as well. The arms are a little beefier to prevent them from being taken off as easily, and the horizontal version has this little plate up top to help prevent horizontals from catching the arms because they didn't have the weight to spare. And yeah, overall, they're, they're pretty darn ready for next season, overall, I feel. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about my fights. If you want to see more from me, make sure to click that like button and hit subscribe, or however people say it these days. And as always, I'll always be here to upload more stuff, but school's starting soon, so maybe not for too much more. See ya.